Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this very nice Cora Life 250 watt probe start blue or 10,000K, whatever you want to call it, tubular metal halide bulb. Now this particular bulb was bought off eBay for $32, so that kind of costed an arm and a leg, if I'm allowed to say that. But anyways, let's not waste any more time, and we might as well look at the etch real quick, also known as the information about this 10,000K metal halide lamp. So I'm going to point it into some, some type of light source so we can get a good view of the etch, I should say. Here we go. We can see our company name right here, Cora Life. We can see our color temperature right under it, 10,000 Kelvin, or blue. We have our bulb code right here, MH250 watt, right here, standard metal halide at 250 watt, slash U, meaning universal burn position. I'll also be putting the burning position in the description below of this video as well, so you'll see that as well. And the T15 means that that's the bulb shape type, which is in this case, this is a tubular 15. And it's an ultra right here, and it's made in Germany, and there's the letter R. But the problem is, it doesn't show the ballast type, which I already know is the M58, and it's recommended for enclosed fixtures, since there isn't a shield around the arc tube. And um, the, there isn't a warning symbol of mercury, which is kind of aggravating to me, because this contains mercury, which is really dangerous. So anyways, now that we're done with the etch, since there wasn't really much on there, we might as well look at the construction real quick of this 10,000K metal halide lamp. So let's start from the bottom and end on the top. We can see some bulb glue right here, supporting the base as well. We also have a very nice hard aluminum base with a ceramic insulator, which is rough. Sorry for that car in the background. I can't control that, unfortunately. We have our stem right here, and we also have a heat shield right here to prevent heat from going all the way around the lamp. We have our wires that connect to the arc tube. Here's our probe start resistor. Here's the arc tube itself. As you can see, it kind of looks like it's like a standard metal halide arc tube, but it's actually not because there are like violet halide salts that make it blue basically from the mercury. And plus one, if some of these halide salts get touched by the arc or something or ionized by the arc stream, it'll actually give off like a violet color, which is very, very cool. So here's the arc tube. You can see all the little, little spots of mercury as well. You can see our little quartz tube preventing this lead wire from melting. And we have our top right here to get supported by the whole bulb itself. And there's no dimple, of course, since this is a tubular shaped bulb. So that's it for the construction. So it's pretty simple. And I'm not sure what this is right here, but if anybody knows what that is, let me know in the comments below. And also, I do not know what the chemical salt names are of a 10,000K metal halide lamp. And if anybody knows what the chemical salt names are of a 10,000K metal halide lamp, please let me know in the comments below, because I'm curious to find out. But anyways, now that we're done with the construction of this bulb, I might as well give you some specifications about this lamp, and then I'll turn it on. So this particular 10,000K metal halide bulb here produces around 20,000 lumens. So it's pretty bright even for a 10,000K metal halide lamp. The lifetime on this bulb is only 8,000 hours because it's 10,000K and there's different metal salts that affect the arc tube. So, and the color temperature is obviously 10,000K or blue daylight and is not dimmable. Well, actually, I meant to say it's actually like sky blue or something because that's the color temperature of the sky on our planet. So, um, and the universal burning position Burning position is obviously universal according to the etch on the bulb. And I already said that I'm going to be putting it in the description below of this video as well, so you'll see that as well. So, lifetime is 8,000 hours, which is pretty a pretty good amount if I'm allowed to say that. And um, the warm-up time is actually like 2 or 3 minutes, so that's really nice. So anyways, I think that's that, and the bulb shape type is obviously a tubular 15. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and give this bulb a shot, and we'll see how it starts up. And hopefully there will be no issues with the R2 whatsoever, 
So like if the arc was in a curve, I would have to shut it off because the arc can actually touch the arc two body. It can stretch the arc two body out into a very weird shape. And then the arc two can basically like, you know, explode, which is not good at all. So anyways, I have my fixture here that I can use to test this bulb with. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and screw it in and let it start up. And like I said, hopefully there will be no issues with the arc tube. And if there will be, I'll, I can shut it off for safety reasons. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and um, set the camera on the ballast here so you can get a good view of the whole bulb itself and the arc tube turning on. Make sure the camera's in focus first. Sorry for that another car engine in the background. I sadly can, cannot control that. But anyways, enough of me talking. Let's turn on this 10,000K metal halide lamp. Here we go. So the bulb is now at full brightness and yep, it is actually pure 10,000 Kelvin in here. So as you can see, the bulb lights up this room quite, quite nicely and very nice 10,000 Kelvin or blue. So, and it's, this bulb is also used for aquariums and fish tanks. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, I really hope you enjoy this very nice Cora Life 250 watt probe start 10,000 K metal halide lamp. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching.